here. Chapter 1 from verse 6 said, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Well, they are saying right now through the charismatic renewal and ecumenical movement especially through these big powerful two movements of apostasy, they are saying that the Catholics have the same gospel that we have. <gasps> but the Spirit of the Lord said, no, there is another gospel. Beside this gospel, even that you can have the gospel. The gospel that I read within the Catholic institution, the gospel that I minister and I teach and I preach. Listen to this. I preach, I teach, I ministry. That gospel was this gospel. But how was another gospel? How? Because when I preach, I teach, as a priest, the gospel, the very gospel, I pervert it. I commit perversion against the very things that I preach and teach. By the time that I went to the gospel and I said, here is what the gospel said. John chapter 360. Of the world that he gave his only begotten son. And his mother Mary. Are you reading with me? What Bible are you reading? It's not in your Bible? It's not. It was not even my Catholic Bible either. <gasps> but that is the way that I have to read. You do not understand what is happening. In my consciousness, I was reading this part of the verse as was written. In my subconsciousness, Mary will jump and interfere right there. Because as a Catholic, you cannot, if you happen to be a Catholic this morning here, listen to this, this is for you. If you happen to be a Catholic, you are contaminated by Catholic teaching, some way, somehow, listen to this. This is how, without you even thinking, you think about the promises of God. You don't think by virtue of the Holy Spirit. You think by virtue of the spirit of Satan. Every time. The scripture. What that means, Satan have no problem you reading the Bible and you memorizing. Satan have no problem by you having as many Bibles as you can have. Where Satan have problem is when you believe the Bible at its reading. <gasps> there he have a problem. Because there is no room for him. Praise God. Amen. No room for him. No room between syllable and syllable. No room between word and word. No room between sentence and sentence. No room between verses and verses. No room between chapters and chapters. No room between books and books. And even has gone as far as putting more books in the Bible. That is what the Bible Catholic is all about. More books. Now you understand the strategy of the spirit of the Antichrist. You see, you got just between one syllable room for Satan and you are in trouble. I was in trouble because every time that I read this very verse, right there, I got to stop. My conscience is stopped, not only. My sad conscience will immediately interfere with my conscience and stopping and forcing my conscience to believe that Jesus alone can save. And I have to say, she is a co-redeemer with him. He is a redeemer, but she is co-redeemer. You may be the best Catholic, the most devout Catholic, the most faithful Catholic, and in your family, among your relatives, there are these people. They have come to you, and you almost believe that they are Christian. They believe saying, they come to you saying, we are Christian, we are filled of the Holy Spirit. And you say, hallelujah. And you don't know what you are saying hallelujah for. <gasps> Praise the Lord. You don't know that you are praising the Lord. Some of us, right there, the Lord is not even hearing your praises. There is no, nothing divine to praise Him for. <gasps> and the only praises that the Lord accept are those who come from Him. See? See the point here? You don't praise the Lord for anything that you want to. 
You praise the Lord for the things that He is out to be praised for. And you cannot praise Him based on any lie of the devil. No, never. You will not be accepted. Not only you praise, you person will not be accepted before God. You can claim that you know him for 40 years or 50 years or 90 years. It doesn't matter. You won't, born, you won't be accepted. But children are learning this. This very satanic strategy is being taught to children today in Sunday schools. Right now. In churches. Not in Catholic uh, catechism. In Christian churches. The Catholic children are the same. No, they are not the same. The reason why I became a Catholic is because I f was forced to be. No Catholic is Catholic because the gospel first. Second, every Catholic becomes Catholic not because conviction, but because force. Persuasion. Forced persuasion. Catholics become Catholic because if I ask you as a Catholic in third place and I said why you are Catholic, you have only two questions. I mean two answers to my question. Two valid answers. You can have more, but at least two they are valid according to Catholic teaching. Which ones are? First, you are Catholic because you were baptized Catholic. And you were not truly baptized because that is a false baptism. It's not even baptism. And second, you were so-called baptized falsely when you were an innocent child. Listen to this. And third, by the time that the priest baptized you falsely, then he exorcised you before you were sprinkled with water. What that means? Exercise, exercise. He did exercise you. And you did not even realize as a father, as a mother. I'm talking now to Roman Catholic fathers and mothers. You as a Catholic father and Catholic mother never knew what the priest did. If you knew, you stopped that priest, child of the devil, right there, even as a Catholic. If you knew what he's doing. Before he sprinkled with water, the priest anoint the child with oil and take salt to his mouth. These are to practice a paganism and a cult. And he, by Catholic teaching and Catholic dogma, practiced by these two elements, the oil and the salt, and some time back, even the saliva, now they don't use it because the diseases of Sida. If you were not aware, Priests have stopped using saliva. They used to do it before. Now, because Shida, they stopped. They were ordered to stop. What is happening? That you and so many millions of Catholic mothers and fathers do not realize in front of their eyes. A child is being given no unto the Lord. A child is being given and offered as a sacrifice unto Satan. By virtue of these two elements. Of what used to be three. Because Catholic teaching has stated clearly that the baptismal is one of the seven sacraments. Being so the first sacrament, they are defined as the only, only, only seven channels of grace. What that means, by every sacrament, a part of the grace of Jesus Christ comes for your salvation. Not all what you need, but just a little part here, a little part there, a little part further, through other sacraments, through the sacrament of, uh, of the penance, and through the sacrament of marriage, and through the sacrament of the uh, um, uh, holy order, and through every other sacrament of the sacrifice of the mass. A little part of the grace of Christ for your salvation is coming to you, little by little. What that means, you don't know when you are going to be saved. As a matter of fact, you are still dying, and the priest cannot even tell you if you are saved or not. And you can be the most faithful Catholic, the most 
renew charismatic. You may even cry aloud that you...